This is KCBD News Channel 11's Daybreak Today. Good morning, it's 5 o'clock. Coming up on Daybreak Today, Lubbock Police search for the mother of an abandoned infant. And the vice presidential candidates went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a heated debate last night. And Jenna is standing by live with a free and easy way to fight identity theft. Yeah, Sharon, we're out here at the Lubbock File Room for the second annual Shred-a-thon. We're about to kick up the shredding machine now. We'll have more on that coming up. And did you notice the chill? It's time for the second annual Shred-a-thon. News Channel 11 is teaming up with First Bank and Trust, Lubbock File Room, and D&K Hunt Electric to help protect your personal information. Jenna is live right now at the Lubbock File Room off 34th and Avenue D with more on how it works. Jenna? Hi, Sharon. Like you said, we're out here at the Lubbock File Room for the second annual Shred-a-thon, and this is all about protecting people's identities. Joining me now is Janie Flores with the Lubbock File Room. She's just going to tell us a little bit about what this event is. This event is to help people protect their identity. Used to be the, the saying, someone's trash is another one's treasure. Well, that used to be objects. Now it is takes a negative tone because when you throw something out, what happens is the identity thieves can come and get that and take that and use it to steal your identity and take money from you. What you need to think about is bringing anything that has your name on it. When you're thinking of trash, use the ABC rule. Always be cautious. Bring it to us. If you're in doubt, shred it because everything that you throw in the trash has your name, your, felt, your address, and we want to protect that. So we can shred that and just, and it's free today. So anything, income tax returns, anything like that, bring those to us and we can take care of that for you. And there are some things that you want people to know when they're bringing their items. You prefer they bring boxes, something recyclable. Exactly. We ask that they put their things in bags that are paper bags or cardboard boxes that we can shred, not plastic. So be sure and, and do that and don't bring any plastic. Okay, and now the shredder is right behind us. They're about to turn this machine on. This is what all of that paper will go through today. And last year, you said you did about 13 tons, so we're going to turn it on now. All right, sounds good. <laughs> all right, Sharon, we'll see you later. Thanks, Jenna. And there are two drop-off locations, actually. Taylor joins us now live at the Melanie Square Shopping Center at 80th and Indiana. Taylor? Good morning. So Jenna's at just one of those locations. We're over here off of Indiana, other side of town. This is also where we will be accepting uh, your protected, your, uh, excuse me, your sensitive documents that we are hoping will be protected once they're shredded because of the shred-a-thon. Now, just keep this in mind. Uh, about one in 33 people are at risk for having their identity stolen in the next year. Definitely something you want to try and avoid. This is an easy way to do it, and we hope to see you at 6 a.m. Sharon, back to you. All right, thanks so much, and it is now 5.09. Still ahead on Daybreak Today, dash cam video of a police annual shred-a-thon. KCBD News Channel 11 is teaming up with First Bank and Trust, Lubbock File Room, and D&K Hunt Electric to help protect all your personal information. Taylor is joining us live at Melanie Square Shopping Center at 80th in Indiana to explain how this all works. Taylor? Good morning. Now, this is just one of the two locations. We've got more on that in a second, but I'm here with the owner of Lubbock File Room. Good morning, Good Mr. Morning. Curtis Hogan. Now, you're in the business of protecting people's identity, but today there's a free opportunity. You think people should take advantage of this? Absolutely. You know, we had this last year and it was a great success, so I expect even more uh, this year. I mean, the weather's great. It's not going to rain on us this year, so we're excited about that. Yeah, come out. Anything that you have from your medical records or bank records or anything like that is what we can shred, and those are the things that people are looking for to take advantage of. So we can we can help you today, and it's free. It's a great price. Exactly, and that trash can that sometimes we just, you know, tear two, two tears in those documents, place them in the trash can, that's not enough. Oh, they can put those together. You know, when it goes to our facility, it's shredded. They can't put it back together. It's the safest way. It's the most most inexpensive way, especially today. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, six to two, we'll be out here. Uh, this is one of the locations and there's another location. Sharon, we'll send it back to you. All right, that's right. Jenna is standing by live at the Lubbock File Room. That's off the of 34th and Avenue D. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, so this is the other location and all that paper that goes to Taylor's location will eventually come back here to this shredder. Now, here's a tip for you. You might not know this, but according to the Federal Trade Commission, it takes an average of $500 and 30 hours for each person to resolve their identity theft crisis.
but it only takes a few minutes for that paper to go through here and for you to protect your identity. And another fun fact, Janie just told me that all of this paper is recycled to the Georgia Pacific Mill. If you can guess what this is turned into, just, just let me know. Tweet me, tell me, because I did, had no idea, so it's pretty interesting. Sharon, back to you. Okay, I'll be anxious to know. You have to tell us later. Thanks, Jenna. It's bait last night. Plus, Jenna is live with the free and easy way to fight identity theft. With us, come out to the Lubbock File Room and bring your paper. We'll have more on this coming up. All right, much more on the Shred-a-thon. We're live at two locations today. Taylor's at the other one, and we'll go to them in just a few minutes. And third. Well, the second annual Shred-a-thon is kicking off right now, and KCBD is teaming up with First Bank and Trust, Lubbock File Room, and D&K Hunt Electric to help protect your personal information. Jenna is live right now at the Lubbock File Room on 34th and Avenue D with more on how the Shred-a-thon works. Hi, Jenna. Hi Sharon. Well, it's still early out here, but the Shredathon has officially started and we did just have one customer come out to the Lubbock file room to drop off some paper. Now Janie and I moved from the shredder out to where the actual location is that you will drop your paper off. So just tell us what people need to know when they come out here today. Well, what they need to do is go through their house and they need to bring any of their old income taxes, their junk mail, old expired credit cards, anything that has their name and address on it that they want us to shred for them, we can certainly take care of that. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you want to throw away some of those things, but you do not want to get rid of some important documents. So how can they tell what they should get rid of and what they should not? Well, they want to be sure and keep their birth certificates and anything that has uh, Social Security information on it as far as their Social Security cards, their statements from Social Security, any bank statements that they need to hang on to immediately, but all those old ones, bring them to us and we can take care of them. Okay, and because all of this is going to be recycled, you would recommend that people please bring out something that they can recycle that paper in. It, correct. We would like them to bring it in paper bags or cardboard boxes, no plastic. Okay, and now if you're just now joining us, I told you in our last hour how all of this paper does get recycled into something else. So Janie, what is what goes on with this paper? Your income tax returns are now toilet paper. Isn't that nice? You get to throw away some of the stuff you don't want and recycle it into something that you can maybe later on use. Well, Sharon, we'll have more coming up. Back to you. All right, that's good to know. And there is another location, of course, as we told you, Taylor is live at Melanie Square Shopping Center at 80th in Indiana. Tell us what's going on there. Hi, Taylor. Good morning. We're covering the other side of town over here now already get this at about 532. We had our first couple people pull up and we kind of had to say, hey, y'all, it starts at six. But right now a steady flow of cars. One car right now um, just pulled through. Now, of course, this is from six until two. This is the other location. Now, if uh, you heard Jenna list off some of those items that you want to try and get rid of protected in a protected manner because they're sensitive documents. Last year we had uh, 13, th 13 tons, me meaning 26,000 pounds of shredded documents. They'll be loaded up into that truck. Stay with us all morning. We'll have live coverage and we hope to see you out here. All right, thank you, Taylor. And it is now 6.08, still ahead on day Eastern U.S. coming up. Plus, we'll have highlights from the debate between the vice presidential candidates. And Taylor is standing by with a free way to protect your personal information. Good morning, we're over here off Indiana. We're emptying out this car, one of the many we've already seen in the last 30, 35 minutes. Putting it all in here, we've got thousands of pounds of documents more on how you can uh, come on out and be a part of that in a few minutes. And there is a definite fall. Steve, thanks so much. It's 631. We're already 30 minutes into the second annual shred of fawn. We're teaming up with First Bank and Trust, Lubbock File Room, and DK Hunt Electric to help protect your personal information. So let's go to Taylor live to tell us what's going on. She's at Melanie Square at 80th in Indiana. Taylor? Good morning. Busy already over here off of Indiana. These bins already full. They're already putting me to work now. Um, Ma'am, you just dropped off four boxes, right? Yes. Thank y'all so much for having this service Absolutely. Today. We're definitely having a lot of fun. All right, six until two. Come on out here. You are good to go. I'm blocking up traffic. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And remember, it's totally free. We take this over here. We give it to Benji. No, we put it in here. It goes in the truck and then off to the file room. You've been, uh, Jenna's been showing you this morning what they do there. Come on out and see us. Back to you.
All right, thanks so much. And as we told you, there are two drop-off locations. The other drop-off location is the Lubbock File Room off of 34th and Avenue D. Now, Jen is standing by there, and we'll go uh, to her in just a little bit. We've seen her a couple times this morning. Uh, they're getting busy as well, and that's where they actually shred all the documents. So we'll hit her up in just a little bit. Well, Hurricane Matt. All right, thanks so much, Steve. Well, we're almost an hour into the second annual Shred-a-thon. KCBD is teaming up with First Bank and Trust, Lubbock File Room, and D&K Hunt Electric to help protect your personal information. Let's go to Taylor. She's standing by at 80th in Indiana to explain how it works. Hi, Taylor. Good morning. It's already been busy. Take a look at how much we've already collected. Now these are in the bins. Now, Dominic, can we flip that camera around? Let's show them what's already up here in the truck. This, of course, is going to be heading off to the Lubbock file room here in a little bit to be shredded. We are protecting your sensitive documents. Now, good morning, uh, Curtis. Let's chat about well, you're, oh, yeah, you're busy. Oh, he's he's in the middle in. of yeah, work. Perfect. How are you doing? How many people have we already seen? You're counting, right? Well, I, I, the last one I heard was 54, so that's fantastic. It's still early. The sun's not even awake yet. <laughs> See he, what I mean? He's got a, a dog food bowl, <laughs> so or a bowl a bag. Yeah, yeah, now right. we want to remind people: uh, no, what do they not need to bring their documents in? Well, you know, don't worry about staples and those kind of things. It'll those it'll it'll take care of that. But we prefer that it's not in trash bags. If you can put it into paper or boxes, because we need to separate that stuff out. So that would be beneficial. Okay, so like those brown paper bags you get awesome. at the grocery store and that'd that be, kind of thing. That would be awesome. Yes, ma'am. All right, now we'll be out here until two, Sharon. I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much, Taylor. And Jenna is standing by at the Lubbock file room where everything does eventually get shredded. She's at 34th and Avenue D. Let's go to her now, Jenna. Hi, Sharon. We've been out here about an hour into the official second annual Shredathon, and we just had another customer show up. Traffic is starting to pick up a little bit now that we're getting into that first hour, and you have seven hours left to get out here. Now, this is just a way, an easy way for you to get rid of all of those things that could make you a victim of identity theft. You can pull up here to the Lubbock file room. Just drop something in one of these bins. You can see that there's already paper in here and they're gonna drop off some more. I'm gonna throw my paper away in here. Now, let me tell you this. The FTC says, the Federal Trade Commission says that every minute 19 people are victims of identity theft. That's almost 10 million people a year and that's probably growing. So this is a really easy way for you to come protect yourself like these people are doing here today. And it's super easy. The people at the Lubbock File Room will come out and help you lift those boxes in there. So bring as much as you can and take advantage of this free event. Like I said, it goes till 2 p.m. today. One location here at the Lubbock File Room off the 34th Street and the other location where Taylor is you just saw her at First Bank and Trust you can come out here for the next seven hours so take advantage of it Sharon back to you all right thanks so much to both Taylor and Janet this morning and it is